First up, I reckon this is probably the worst dancing we've ever seen from an Australian politician. Have a look at this. <laughs> that was Bill Shorten trying to be friendly with our Pacific family. Maybe that's diplomacy in action. Maybe that's why the Solomons went with China. I don't know. But Donald Trump's had a dance every now and then. And this is why I want to raise this, because I want to get your verdict. So sort of this is a little version of the, the, the Kenny Report dancing with the stars, because I want to show you our rock and roll Prime Minister, Albo, dancing the other night to Midnight Oil. All right, give us your honest thoughts, uh, Liz. Does that cut the mustard? I actually like it when politicians just behave like humans. I don't think we should expect them to be all suited up and and uh, stuffed and ready for the next photo op every single second of every single day. I don't think either of these three instances, by the way, beats the former UK Prime Minister Theresa May. Oh no, don't, don't, no, 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 don't jump the gun. You, you, I think if it's you're a stealing my punchline there. You're stealing, oh, no. you're stealing oh, my no. punchline okay. there. Now, uh, Justin, does uh, Albo, uh, is he better dancer than you or...? As a, uh, as a Midnight Oil fan, I'd like to call for a royal commission uh, into the dancing <laughs> of Albo. Into uh, politician dancing. That was, don't dance. <laughs> Politicians should don't never, get, ever, right. don't... Yeah, right. and the answer's I'm, yes. I'm I, a far I'll thank you both. Oh, come I'll, on. You'd have Give to be. I've got to thank you both. I'll thank you both. Liz didn't know we had this up our sleeve before we go and end the show. I've got to show you the worst ever, surely, was Theresa May. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be the worst. That has got to be the worst. 